What did you like most about Trey's game tonight? Uh, I thought he was super aggressive early. Um, obviously, we had some late clock situations early in the game. He knocked down some buckets, but you know him attacking the boards. I know he only ended up with five, but the pressure he was putting on the paint. Um, thought he did a really good job uh, screening and rolling. Um, that's something that we would continue to work with him on, just like you know the chemistry with the guards that are out there. Thought he did a good job. We emphasized like really getting hits because they were staying with their own, and I think that freed up our guards quite a bit. And then just defensively, just being in that drop coverage. Thought he did a good job early in the game. We were doing a good job protecting the paint. Um, struggled there in the you know third quarter and the start of the fourth quarter, but overall just steps in the right direction with the things we're asking him of. And you know uh, really impressed overall. You know proud of him. You know career high and all that stuff. But he's doing the little things to impact winning. Speaking of the little things to impact winning, winning uh, guys like Jordan Goodwin, uh, John Conchar, with the way they're able to crash the glass, especially on the offensive end, what does that open up for you? And I mean, how important is that for you? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. I thought uh, both those guys uh, on the boards, you know, it's something that we're talking about, you know, with all of our guys, those guys, especially, you know, with three offensive rebounds, creating second chance opportunities for us. It's something we've been studying, you know, the strengths of these guys. And, you know, when our offense is struggling and we're getting open shots, you know, just how we can seek more opportunities and not compromise our transition defense, which was a priority tonight. I know they got 18, but I don't think it was because of us crashing as much. I think there was just some, you know, uh, lack of shifting and, and they did a pretty good job kicking the ball ahead and attacking early. But overall, those two guys um, you know Jordan I thought he did a great job on ball defense you know just being pesky and using his physicality um, but you know for those guys when we're emphasizing the offensive rebound you know sometimes it's them getting the board and finishing but a lot of times Jiddy in particular was getting and batting out volleyball style to a guy on the three-point line that's stuff that we're watching a film with with these guys the fact that they're carrying it over is something that's hopefully helpful for us moving forward Hey, Coach, how did it feel to send the home crowd home with a win tonight, man? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, you know, hoops for St. Jude tonight. You know, obviously there was a lot of buzz, you know, in support of St. Jude. But, you know, we go up 25. Energy was there. You know, crowd was into it. Obviously kind of flatlined there in that third quarter. Um, but, you know, the fans stuck with us throughout. And, you know, credit to our guys. I told them, you know, midway in the fourth, we finally figured it out. You know, take away the paint, wall it off. You know, some better execution. We were turning the ball over quite a bit there in that fourth quarter. You know, relax, let them leak out and get easy transition buckets once we kind of shorted up. Uh, our fans were behind us and luckily a single digit lead turned into a double digit lead and, and we put some clamps down on the win. Um, so, you know, with the hustle, uh, Dijon's activity ability to stuff the stat sheet really stood out and it looks like he's doing the same uh, in the two games thus far. I mean, tonight he had 8.6 assists, 5 rebounds, 2 steals. Just what stands out to you with uh, Dijon's game, especially with his activity on both sides of the floor? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, defensively, I've been challenging, you know, we call him Deaky, um, you know, to, to be active. I mean, he was, uh, I think, defensive player of the year, player of the year, you know, when he was in college and wanted him to get back to that mentality, you know, and that's going to make an impact for us. You know, you do it in different ways. It can be rebounding, it can be on ball defense. Um, I think he's pretty much getting a feel. Luckily, he's been in our system, you know, with a hustle, getting a feel for his teammates and how we're executing a lot of the two on two coverages communication wise. You know, that's still a work in progress. But I love how he's competing on that side of the floor. And then offensively, just trying to be a playmaker. He's finding spots to be aggressive. A couple of opportunities I'm reminding him, hey, we can continue playing, move the ball a little bit earlier, but he's responding you know, to everything we're hitting him with, trying to you know, be that lead guard that we're th throwing him into right now. So overall, you know, just kind of stat stuffer, that's what he was doing with the hustle and hopefully he continues to build on that with whatever minutes and opportunity he gets here. Gigi as a rookie, you know, there's obviously moments where he, he pops and then he had those two turnovers late in the game. How challenging is it when you are that athletic and you kind of set those expectations right out the gate and you play really well to continue to put together uh, a season that makes it feel like progress, you know, when you start out so fast. Yeah, you'll have to ask him about the athletic piece because I, I, I'm not in those shoes with my athleticism, but it's uh, it's fun to watch his growth. Um, I always talk about his coachability. I mean, the first thing he said when we went around and high-fived everyone, he came up to us, like, man, my bad about those turnovers. I said, man, you're making great plays out there. You're whipping passes out there. It's two games in a row. You're collapsing the defense. They don't have a shot blocker. You're able to go finish at the rim. One guy, you know, chased down block, but he made a great move. He's creating advantages for us, playing off of closeouts, um, you know, starting to play in the pick and roll a little bit more um, as a handler. Uh, but the fact that he's able to display his, you know, athleticism on the offensive side, that's what everyone's focused on. But I thought there were some things tonight defensively um, with them getting downhill, paint being a priority, one-on-one -on -one defense, them coming up and screening and slipping out. thought he did a pretty good job, um, you know, staying square. Uh, we want to challenge him to be against more dynamic guards, knowing with his athleticism and his length. Um, but, you know, it's impressive to see, you know, came out with a flurry first couple games. He's going to have his 
his bumps in the road. Um, he's going to have his flashes, but every learning opportunity, he's really taking it to heart and trying to get better, you know, game to game, but even possession to possession. Great. Thanks, everybody.